So I finally got a chance to try out my Aquarella Karen Diash Neo Color Water Soluble Oil Pastels. I don't know if they're actual, actually oil pastels because they're water soluble, but you know, I've, I've never tried pastels to begin with, so this was a completely new experience for me. I the the colors were bright and vivid the they were like giant crayons it was kind of like a very nice crayon though it was like uh coloring with um colored butter they were they're very smooth to work with well uh, when i opened up the the case it, the outer paper ring was a uh, color chart and it, it wasn't pleasant to make this color chart because the paper was just, it wasn't good color chart paper. It was, it was like a piece of cardboard or uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't nice paper. So I got a scrap of Arches uh, hot press watercolor paper. It was smooth and I heard that it, it's actually better to use the oil pastels on um, more textured paper, but I didn't really have a problem. They um, layered really nicely. I didn't uh, layer them too extreme. You can still see white parts through through um, what I colored on the paper, but this was just a test. You know, I wanted to see how it reacted with water pretty much, how much um, pigment I could take off of it if I could wash it back off after I put a, a really thick layer on. Uh, if I can smooth out a rough area. I was just kind of, you know, playing with the, the color and seeing what it could do for me. In the end, it, it um, I did like the look of it when it, it was uh, smoothed out on the paper with the water, but I, I ended up trying um, another test, more finished piece on this uh, handmade 100% uh, cotton paper that I got from Etsy. There was a piece that was kind of folded and bent, so I used that. Went through my sketchbook to find a, just some easy, image that I could uh, color that that might look good simplified because it, with the uh, oil pastels um I think you can't really get sharp lines with it so I had that in mind when I picked out the image one thing I wouldn't suggest is trying to sketch with the oil pastels which is exactly what I did <laughs> you can see all these different lines I was trying to figure out my exact composition I, this was really rough I just uh, went right for it because I'm I just wanted to start coloring and then like the extra lines I tried erasing with water but this paper that I bought was actually not good with water so I ended up having to change my tactic along the way the the sketch lines that I was trying to erase didn't really erase they but luckily this uh these pastels are just very um thick and it, you could layer it really well. It ended up in covering up the sketch lines just in that regard. I loved, loved, loved playing with these. I, like I said before, I never used oil pastels before, so this was a brand new experience for me. And I just, I, I was having a ball the whole time I was using these, trying out different color combinations and rubbing things with my fingers to try to, to blend it and stuff, seeing what, what I liked as far as like light over dark, dark over light. I noticed that some of the pastels were more opaque than others. There was a brown in there that was actually, um, it wasn't very opaque at all. I kept trying to use it and I'm not really a big fan of the, the brown that came in here, but it, some of them, some of the colors are a little bit more creamy than the others and some are more dry and crumbly, but I guess it has to do with the pigments that are used. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about the image here. Um, 
just I, I had this idea in my head a long time ago of bugs over some of the houses in the city where I live so I walked around the the town one time and took pictures of all the local houses and uh, then I just kind of went through my pictures and uh, found some houses that would be pretty easy to, to color and uh, so that's what I was showing on my iPad just now here I have like three or four colors layered up on there and you can still see the the texture of the paper underneath but it's opaque the colors on top are opaque and the the colors are still showing up so very very impressed with these pastels I will definitely be using them again I did have an issue with uh, the paper at some point. It is handmade paper, so there are going to be um, incons inconsistencies and you know blemishes in the paper. Uh, there was a point where I was trying to color over a piece in the sidewalk and a chunk of fiber came up and I just could not color over it after that. You can see it right there at the bottom. My hand's covering it now. But, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed if I was making a finished piece for someone, it would definitely mar the, that would be a, a blight on the picture. But overall, it, it, I'm going to do like a separate video um, of using different mediums with this uh, handmade watercolor paper. It's not even watercolor paper. They just have it as advertised as 100% cotton paper. So I'll do a review of like the different mediums with it. Here I tried embossing a little bit. I thought that I could use this to scratch through the top layers to the bottom and that didn't really work. It just made indentations, which is fine. I mean, you can still see see differences between the, the flat color and the, the ones that I embossed, so. Yeah. There's my finished piece, fly sucking on a house in my hometown. Would definitely recommend these water soluble pastels. Never tried regular oil pastels, so I can't vouch for those, but these ones, awesome. Definitely go buy some, they're cool. This is not sponsored. That's about it. Thanks for joining me.